Okay, take a minute, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told here there are certain pain relievers taken in 220 milligram dosages. Dosages? Is that a word? Doses, I would say. I, although I don't know much here about medical science. It has a half-life of 12 hours. So every 12 hours, the amount that's in your, let's say, body, for example, we cut in half. 220, then 110. And here is our half-life function. It starts at 220, and then you have half of that every 12 hours. So T is being divided by 12. It can be used to model the situation where A is the amount of pain reliever. So A is the amount of pain reliever in milligrams remaining in the body after T hours. Okay. According to this function, which statement is true? Every hour, the amount of pain reliever remaining is cut in half. Well, it says right here the half-life is 12 hours. So that can't be true, right? It's not every hour. It's every 12 hours. And you can see here, if you plug in, let's say, A of 12, just to see what would happen here, you would get 220, right? 220 times a half. And then we're plugging in 12 for T. So that's just 12 over 12, or 1. And that's 1 half to the first is 1 half times 220 is 110. So after an hour, it goes from 220 to 110. If you, excuse me, after 12 hours, it goes from 220 to 110. I just said 1 hour because I saw the 1 up here. Don't let them get you. In 12 hours, there is no pain reliever remaining in the body. We well, can see when you plug in 12, there's still 110 milligrams left. And because mathematically we're modeling this with halves, at no point will there be nothing left in the body mathematically. There will always be some amount remaining when you half and half and half. In 24 hours, there is no pain reliever remaining in the body. Same thing. If you plug in 24, just to see what happens here, you're starting with 220, 220, and you're halving it 24 divided by 12 times, which is 2. So it's a fourth of 220, so that's 55, right? It's a half of 220 is 110, and then a half again is 55, so there's still plenty left. And then this is our only choice left, but let's see, in 12 hours, 110 milligrams of pain reliever is remaining, which is exactly what we found here. So often in these functions, if you don't recognize the function itself, if you don't understand what's happening, try inputs and outputs to see if you can make sense of it. All right, hope that helped.